Okay, now we're going to see that the English Standard Version does not take a very light attitude towards sin, apparently, or even the temptation to sin. Matthew chapter 18, verse 7 in the King James Bible says, Woe well unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Offense means you've offended, you've, you've sinned, you've done something wrong. You see what I'm saying? How does the ESV render this? Woe to the world for temptations to sin. For it is necessary that temptations come, but woe to the one by whom the temptation comes. You are in trouble with God if you are tempted to sin, according to the ESV. <laughs> Whoa. Um, that's kind of an issue, isn't it? Let me show you something about that. <clears throat> kind of a real problem here for you. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 18. I'll well, start at verse 17. Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself hath suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Jesus Christ was tempted. So according to the ESV here, woe to the world for temptations to sin. Jesus is saying this as a hypocrite. Well, he's saying, woe to the world for temptations to sin. Oh, but by the way, I've been tempted. Now, you see, Jesus never committed any offenses. The temptations were there. He went into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil for 40 days. You know, he was tempted, but he never committed the offense. Why would the ESV want to make Jesus into a sinner or a lying hypocrite? I think I'd get another Bible, kind of like the uh, King James Bible. Might be a good idea.